Hey there, it's Kristen with K-Design Co. And today I want to share with you some super helpful tips and tricks on how to create your mobile designs and show it faster. Now, these are things that I use almost every day in my own site and on my client site that really help me um, get the designs done faster and be able to hit the publish button faster. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out kind of creating a example layout, a mock layout. Um, this is using my Kimberly template uh, kind of as a base to pull in the styles, but of course the same process is going to work for you no matter what template or design you're starting with and show it these same rules and processes um, and shortcuts still apply. So um, I'm actually going to create a um, a pricing section on this page here. So I'm going to start with a couple elements. Um, and then one thing I want to encourage you to do when you're thinking about designing as well, um, designing desktop versus mobile, is that you want to start kind of with your base elements and styles, and then think about how you can think ahead um, so that you are going to minimize the number of formatting um, elements that you're going to have to do. So what I mean by that is Let's say I want to plan um, kind of like two pricing options for the section. So what I'm not going to do is create two boxes on this page and then have to go format them on the desktop side and go have to format them on the mobile side because that is four times that I'm going to have to format the same element. So the smarter way to do this is um, through the shortcuts I'm going to show you. So you want to format one. Um, perfectly how you want to see it on desktop and then you're going to do that same thing on mobile and then you're going to duplicate it only after you've got it looking the way that you want on desktop and mobile so that reduces the number of formatting um, buttons you're going to have to click and ultimately reduces the time that it takes you to do that so what I'm going to do is kind of walk you through that process so I'm going to start adding a few elements to the page um, you could even copy and paste other elements from around your site if that helps you with things like headings. But I'm just going to go ahead and do a few things here, um, get some headings on the page. So this, like I said, this is going to be a pricing section. Um, and I'm going to have two kind of pricing options that I want. So you can just kind of bear with me here as I get some base styles going down. And then um, we'll talk about how I would do this faster on the mobile side. So. I'm going to have a little bit of text here. I'm actually going to just copy and paste. Love that little ad pop up there. I'm just going to copy and paste um, some text so I can have some filler. Let's have a nice um, kind of intro center line. Maybe bump up the sizing a little bit here. Click and drag to align. And then here is where I'm going to add my kind of pricing boxes. So I kind of want two boxes. Let's say they're going to be white. And then um, I actually want to add like a little drop shadow, um, a non blurry drop shadow kind of, and then I'll do a, a lighter actually application. So that looks pretty good. So I kind of have a rough size how I want it. And then I'm going to add some text inside my box. So I'm going to, again, add in a little bit of warm Ipsum, maybe slightly shorter this time for my description about what this package includes. Again, I'm kind of just eyeballing the sizes right now. And then I will fine tune in just a bit. So here I'm also want to add a um, subheading. So let's call this one time payment. And then let's um, actually duplicate that, which I'm using a keyboard shortcut, which is option on a Mac. So option click and drag. You can duplicate any element. I will look up the window shortcut and post that in the comments as well um, for the equivalent for Windows users. Um, so I'm actually going to make this quite big. I want the um, the number price to stand out. So I'm going to bump that up. And let's go with 497. Sounds like a good number, right? So I'm going to go ahead and align these things how I want. 
I want everything, I think, to be center aligned in this box. So I'll have some nice symmetry and balance. Okay, so this looks pretty good, pretty close to how I'm wanting it. I'm going to go ahead, click and drag to select all those items. And then I'm going to center them up a little bit. And then I can even still play with the exact spacing and the exact sizing a little bit here. Okay, so now I have this roughly how I want it to look and generally centered inside of this box. So um, if you are like me or you are um, one of the many people who only want to design a desktop and then you look over here at your mobile and you think, what a mess, what, like, it feels a little bit overwhelming, right? Because you're looking at elements that, you know, they're not sized and they might be overlapping they're not the right color um, so that's why we're going to take the time right now to actually adjust the sizing the spacing and the um, layout before we copy this item over in desktop because it's going to make our workflow twice as fast so um, when you are designing in show it we have this new feature that's called split um, merge, which is basically how you can distinguish what formatting you want for mobile and what formatting you want for desktop. So this feature may or may not be turned on um, for certain elements of your site. And if it's not, um, how you'll know the difference is the split merge feature is on when you see these little tabs or this little phone icon or a little desktop icon. So I know that anytime I'm adjusting the formatting on mobile with this feature on with this little tab, it's not going to impact the formatting of my desktop side. However, if this feature isn't on and you don't see those little tabs, anytime you adjust the um, sizing or any of the other formatting properties, they're going to be shared. Um, so this is a relatively new feature on Show It, so that's why I just wanted to point it out. So if you do need to turn it on, all you have to do is go next to that um, property that you're wanting to adjust, and then you can... Now, if you ever want to um, merge um, the, your property so that your mobile and your desktop have both the same property values, you can also always go back and merge it. But um, the default... Um, may be split depending on how your design and or theme was set up. So just always make sure to be mindful of that before you start going in here and formatting. Otherwise, um, if you're already split, then you can know that you can update these settings without worrying about it messing up your desktop side. So I'm just going to go ahead and optically um, size this how I want it to look. Adjust the line height so it's a little bit more natural and then I'm going to size my text boxes always make sure you're clicking the right text box then I have these elements too that I need to bring up so one other little trick that I like to do is sometimes when you're working in mobile and you have elements that are layered over top of each other um, it can be hard to know like how to select those. So again, you can always use the layers panel to kind of figure out, or you could always go over here to the desktop, select them on desktop, and then click over to your mobile. And then those same elements are still going to be selected. And then a lot of times I'll use like my arrow keys um, to kind of tab if you hold shift and up, you can um, move elements around quickly. Um, to go up or down on the page, or you can also use the alignment tool. So those, again, those are just some more tips and tricks I use for like keyboard shortcuts and things like that. So, okay, let's say that I have all of these elements. I am dragging all of them to be kind of the right sizing and the spacing that I feel good about. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me on my desktop and my mobile. So now this is going to make it way easier to copy this whole section and duplicate it on mobile rather than having to format everything twice. So um, you can do Command C or Control C and Command V or Control V depending on whether you're a Mac or a PC user. Um, but it is exactly the same 
um, instance. So it will copy everything on top of the existing one that you already have. So for desktop, if you're working a desktop, it's easy to just click and drag um, directly over to the spot where you want it um, versus on mobile. If you keep all of those same elements um, selected, you can again use the arrow keys or shift and arrow keys or shift and drag to easily duplicate this instance and put it there. So then all you have to do now is just update your copy so that it reflects the two payment plans. So now that I have my two boxes, this looks really good. So um, the last thing I might wanna do is add a button. So you can add a button easily just with any shape. So of course, if you want two buttons, you could do that and you could do that process before um, you duplicate, but I, th I think I was just going to have one button. So um, just keep one button. And then we'll do enroll now. Go ahead and make that white and center it up. And I'm going to click and drag to select all the items, center those up, and I also center everything to Canvas. Same thing for these elements. I'm going to click and drag to select all of them and also center them to Canvas and make sure, honestly, everything is centered to Canvas. Okay. And then over here, you'll just have to adjust the sizing of your button a bit. Again, the styles, making sure that they are either split if that's what you want or merged if that's what you want a lot of times i do split the styles of the formatting just because the sizing and the spacing for text is generally a little bit different for mobile um, but yeah so now you can see that we created this whole section and we didn't have to duplicate um, all of the formatting you know four times even though we're dealing with four different instances of essentially the same elements, such as like the boxes and the pricing. So that is a super helpful tip. Another tip that I love to use and it has been a total lifesaver is what's called special paste. Okay. And so this is basically a way to copy the formatting of one element to another element. So let's say I did all that um, design and then I decided oh I want this um, pricing to actually be a little bit bolder so I think I want to bump it up to this font instead um, of that lighter one so one thing you can do rather than having to think about okay okay I gotta click this element and then go back up here to the font find the right font you can actually do um, a command C and then instead of doing a command V or a control V like you would normally do um, to paste the element itself. We just want to copy the style. So to copy the styles, you're actually going to do shift command V. And then you can see that I was able to easily um, copy those styles over without having to mess anything over here with this drop down. So this also works for multiple elements at the same time. So like, let's say that I had like four different payment plans um, or four different elements that I wanted to um, copy the styles of. So I could literally click all of the elements that I want to copy the styles of. And let's say I still have that same formatting on my pasteboard. I'm going to do the same shortcut. And you can see all of those elements got formatted the same. So not that I want those actually to look like that right now, but this is just for illustration purposes, which I'm going to undo. Um, but you can see how you can quickly um, make that workflow a lot shorter and a lot easier when you are only having to format something one time. Um, another thing that I use a ton, which is not just necessarily on mobile, but it's also um, on desktop as well. So we can come over here and see on our payment plans. So one thing when you are doing 
um, the special paste is it's it's according to either your desktop or either your um, mobile side. So, but you can easily come over here and do the exact same process. So, Command C and then Control Command Shift V, and then I'll be bumped up to that bolder formatting. Uh, one last tip. Um, that I love to use to help me make my workflow faster is not necessarily specific to mobile, um, but it is a huge time saver, and that is just using command click to select multiple elements at a time. Well, you can always do a click and drag, but sometimes if you the elements that you want um, are you know a lot of overlapping or they're kind of hard to <clears throat> select altogether, um, you can easily go in here and pinpoint the exact elements that you want to select. And it can be a little bit tricky to know, obviously if you haven't named your layers or you're just kind of going fast um, to which elements which, but by using the command click, just hold down command and then click and you will be selecting all of those elements at once. And then you can do again, same sorts of shortcuts like control C, control V, um, and special paste and things like that. So hopefully these tips were helpful for you. And like I said, I will paste all of the um, Windows shortcuts and Mac versions in the comments. But let me know if this is helpful for you and or if you um, have any questions. Thanks so much.